Good morning, IBC. Although so many people gladly anticipate the end of the circuit breaker, all of you are like myself in the UK, lockdown, there are still some of us who are going through a difficult time with potentially more difficulties to come. If you are feeling like a minority because of this, know that in Christ, you are not alone. As one of many first-year junior doctors, our lives were turned upside down when we were given a new work schedule because of the coronavirus. More than doubled nights and evenings, no weekends for seven weeks in a row, and all our annual leave was initially cancelled. We will continue to work a difficult rotor until August, pending review and without any guaranteed compensation. Furthermore, because of the increased occupational risks, many of my friends were and still are testing positive for the coronavirus. My favourite verse is Isaiah 40 verse 11. It talks about the character of God towards his people. It says, He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his bosom. He will gently lead those which have young. Know that in any difficulty you face, as his child, God loves you and cares for you deeply. He knows the troubles and the worries that you have in your heart. Romans 5 verses 1 to 5 says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. God is not just good because he is the light at the end of the tunnel. God is good because he is our light in the tunnel. Commit your difficulties to God, knowing that he will not waste it in making your character more Christ-like. Hope and rejoice in the graciousness of our Father.